All right, welcome back, everyone. Um, this should be part 15 in our um, series here. So let's get right into it. Um, one error that I'm sure some of you might have noticed, uh, it's not going to happen anymore, but what was happening before was the this essentially wasn't working. Um, and it wasn't removing the harvested um, things. And you might have noticed in our world, when we tried to load our world, it would error. Um, and so I, I change it up. Um, the logic behind it has changed quite a bit. Um, essentially, we're going to remove the size minus one and the pop at i. We're just going to remove that. And we're going to change the concept from instead of removing things from our array, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new array called plot temp. So this is going to be a temporary array called plot temp. And every time we find a, we're going to still loop through our uh, array. In fact, this, this will work with a for loop. You no longer have to do a while loop. But either way, I'm going to do a while loop because I already have it set up. And we're just going to check if it's false. So if we have not harvested something, meaning it's still growing, then we'll add it to this array, right? Because this array is empty, so we're going to add to it. And in the end, we're going to set this, our game plot dot plot, our original array equal to the temporary array, right? And that's it. Um, yeah, and our plot temp will pretty much be gone by the time we go to the next uh, world or scene. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, but we set the game dot plot to everything that has a seed that is not harvested. So that's kind of the logic I, that I need. So instead, we're going to remove the stuff in true and just add this line in the false. And you got to make sure you also make the array up here. Um, you could also do it inside the variable ready, um, but I just do it outside. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, and then we just set game.plot equals to whatever. And now when we play, there is no problem. So we have the seven. Um, if you wanted to test it before, um, if you tried just planting a bunch of things or harvesting a bunch of things and then planting and then closing the game, launching, and then play. It would have aired before, but now it works fine. So that's good. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a um, little time system to our game. So we're going to make a uh, light system. So we're going to have light in our game to make it kind of more realistic. So what, what we're going to add is a canvas modulate. And in this canvas modulate, it's going to be on the bottom under UI. And then we're going to just edit it you can kind of see our screen is changing depending on the color, All right? So now you can launch the game once again, and now it's kind of dark. So that's kind of what we want, um, but that's not it. So what we want to do now is in our player, we're going to make this uh, local in our world. We're not going to put it in our player. We're going to put it here we're going to do light 2D and you'll see why in a second if you're following along. So make sure that you do not put it in our player here. You can, um, but it's just better if it's local. So, so the way light works is that it needs a texture in order to create light, essentially. And I've imported a light moonlight that I usually use. It's really big, but that's OK. So as you can see, it's giant. And I've played around with these settings. And what we're going to use is texture scale, 0 0.14. Energy, we'll do, this one won't matter too much, but we'll do 0 0.8 for now. For the mode, we'll do we'll do add, but I let's go through each one to see what they do. So sub is the opposite of add, so it'll subtract essentially. Mix is to mix between the two. It's actually pretty good. Um, uh, you can use mix, but I think mix has issues with shadow. Uh, mask is very messy, as you can see. It's kind of odd. Um, it just uses a mask. I'm not sure how to explain what a mask is, but um, this can have its uses, but in our case, obviously, we're not going to do that. Um, we can do mix for now. So let's play again. And now we have light in our world. So it's very dark right now, but that's okay. Um, another thing we'll do is we can go to shadow. Um, we'll use shadows later on, but for now, I just want to set these variables. We'll have 11.1. And then for the filter, we'll have F P uh, PC F7. OK, um, don't worry about shadow too much right now. There's no shadows in our game right now, but um, we could use some later on. 
All right, so now we have light and it mixes pretty nicely in our game. Awesome. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our world scene. We're going to rename this actually to ambient. And we're going to go into our world scene and we're going to have two functions, on ready variable darkness and on ready variable light. And this one will be get node uh, layer at light. And then this one will be get node ambient. Awesome. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to have two more variables. And these are going to be dictionaries. One is going to be color scheme. And I'm actually just going to copy paste this one. Um, I'll pause the video in a second, or I'm not going to pause it. Um, all right, so I copy pasted this. Um, I recommend you pause the video here and just take your time to code this or to copy it. I'm also going to copy our light scheme. All right, so this is our light scheme. Um, essentially, it's going to correspond to our light, and this is going to correspond to our darkness. So I'm going to close these for now, just to minimize them. And then I'm going to have a process function. And inside our process function, we're going to do something similar to our timestamp on the top right corner of our game. We're going to get the date. So OS dot um, get date time. There it is. And then we're going to check for if the date of the hour, whoops, there we go. If the hour of our date is greater than or equal to zero, and where's our and? There it is. And it's, it's, I can't say is, I have to actually write it out. Our date is also smaller than five. Then we're going to set our darkness. So darkness equals to color scheme zero. And we'll also get light scheme equal to light. Nope, not light scheme, sorry. Light is equal to light scheme zero. And that's it. So what this is doing is it's going to check essentially if our hour is between zero and five, right? And if it is, then we'll set the color scheme to zero and the light scheme to zero. So what this means is the color scheme here is 40 and 40, 40 is really dark. So zero, hour zero essentially means that it's very dark right now, right? It's still night out and we want light. And 0 0.8 is as light as we would want, I suppose. Um, you can increase it if you want. You can go to one. Um, I find one is a bit high on the energy. All right, so I got to let's delete that. All right, um, our light, I find the light a bit high, but that's fine. Um, yeah, so it's up to you, really. But now let's kind of just fill it out. So we'll have L if, and we can do, what did I do here? I did 11 and 15. And if it's between 11 and 15, I did three. And I'm just going to copy paste this two more times. I'm going to do 15 and 20, and then 24 here and 20 because our hour never goes over 24 right it only goes up to 23. Um, and then here i do uh, let's do eight and eight here and then we can do two and two so it goes up and then down right because in the middle of the day it becomes bright and then darker in the middle of the day so now as you see um we're in the middle of the day so we can actually go to our remote on the left and check if it's working and it is not. Why is that? Let's find out. Is it even printing? Or is it even working? Let's find out. OK, it's working there. Let's take this. So we should be right in between here. So I'm not sure why that's not working. OK, the hour is, we have to go to our game. And I'm, it's 16. Okay, never mind. We are, we should be down here. Okay, yeah, it is working. Okay. Okay, 
and let's test one more time. I'm not sure why the ambient wasn't working properly. Okay, I'm not sure why I crashed there. Save and load. Let's go back to our world. Let's delete that print. And then let's go to our remote. And then we're going to check the ambient. And for some reason, it's not working. For some reason, the ambient is not changing. That is very strange. Let's, let's see. Unready darkness. Am I forgetting anything? Um, this is process, so it should be working. We have this, we have eight. Color scheme eight. Okay, darkness equals. Ah, I see what's happening. <laughs> okay. Um, the darkness, I have to edit the color. And then the light, I have to edit the energy. That's why it wasn't working. So now I have to go into each one. And actually, what I can do is just Control R and then replace it with that. Ah, OK, maybe not. <laughs> Let's just um, speed this um, dot of energy. Let's Control. Let's copy all this and then do that. And copy this, go to our darkness. All right, now let's save, launch, and boom. It kind of works. All right, let's double check. Last time it works, ambient. Here we go 200, 200, 200, which is right. So 200, 200. And if we can, we can even triple check, go to our player, go to our light, and the energy should be zero. Where is it? Energy zero. Awesome. I don't think I can edit it technically. Yeah, I, I don't think I can. Um, because it's being processed. All right, that is it. Um, but we have a we now have a working time system. What we can do just to kind of show you that it works, and I can save it as four four. Uh, let's do energy two. Yeah, so now you can kind of see the light. Um, so yeah, it depends on what you want the energy levels to be. Um, you can do, you can do zero, honestly. Yeah, so now we can see it a bit more. Um, I recommend you definitely play around with um, the modes and just everything else. So add can make it a lot more light. Uh, if I do go back to mix, it doesn't look like it's lighting up, but it is. So it's really up to you. Definitely just play around with this and, and see what you like. You can even make the texture bigger, right? Now it's even more lighting. Uh, we can do like uh, 1.7. Let's try that. OK, there. I like that. Sure. I can go back to mix. Whatever you want. I'll, I actually like add more. Let's do add. So yeah, um, now we have a working time system. Um, another note to make is that you can, for those wondering, OK, so this is a real time um, light system, right? So you can edit it to however you want. However, if for those who are wondering, how can I make a time system within my game, right? Um, well, you can use a timer. So we've learned about timers in other videos. Um, Essentially, you would make a timer inside the game, um, inside your script, and have certain days or dates, depending, or hours, for example. You would have an hour depending on the timer, and it would go up or down, or obviously up, because I don't think time does it in reverse, usually. Um, but who knows, maybe you have a game that reverses time. Um, but those who are wondering how to have that, fake time in your game, just make a timer. And every time it goes off, an hour goes up one, or the minute goes up one, right? So you can do that. Um, if you really want, I can make a bonus video um, for this series. Um, let me know if you guys want that. Um, as I'm talking here, I'm going to add something in our utils. Um, in our save, hopefully you've done this off screen. But I'm going to now save our harvest because I've never done that and our harvest never gets saved. So let's go here, harvest, save and load, uh, play. And now whenever I harvest something, it should just save. Um, 
if I have two corn, let's close load. And there it is, two corn. Awesome. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's it for today's video. So I will see you guys next time. Um, if you guys like the video, make sure you subscribe, um, like the video, all that good stuff. Um, do subscribe. It helps. Comment down below if you are enjoying the series. Um, comment anything you would want to see. Um, this was kind of a request from someone who commented. And I, I, I intended to do it, but I kind of forgot. And then someone commented about it and I remembered. And I was like, oh, okay, let's do that. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below what else you would like to see. So I'll see you guys next time.